Maxwell. If you pursue this, that, that, I will have no choice but to disinherit you. Well, I don't need your money, Mother, or your approval. And I'll do whatever the bloody hell I like. Oh, don't talk to your mother like that. Miss Fine, will you marry me? What? <laughs> Are you out of your... I'll let it get a word in edgewise, lady. <laughs> Stop making a spectacle of yourself. Oh, oh, did you think that was a spectacle? Oh, no, Mother. This is. Oh, oh Mr. Sheffield, marry you. Oh, this is all so sudden. I mean, I'm really going to have to think about. Okay. Mr. Sheffield, <laughs> it's time to change your ribbon. Where's your typewriter? It's in the attic with my Peter Max posters. <laughs> See ya. Now, oh, Miss Fine, wait. Yes? <laughs> I've had an epiphany. Already? Just from doing this? <laughs> I've always resented my father for his total lack of concern for anyone's feelings but his own. He's always lived solely for his own pleasure. But maybe that ain't so bad, huh? I mean, maybe he's got the right idea. I mean, I'm a man. I have needs too, right? Oh, good, because I can use a couple of multiple epiphanies myself. <laughs> I got a problem. All right, honey, solve it yourself. It builds character. No, no. Okay, Dad, here it is. I'm in a ballet class, and I don't care what you say. I love it, and I'm staying in. Well, son, you should do whatever makes you happy. Even if you called the school and demand they take me out of that class, I'm not leaving. I want you to do it. Would you let me live my own life? <laughs> For the love of God, I'm a ballerina. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, he is so lucky that he's got people that love and support him. Ow, come here. Look how baggy his butt looks in those tights. <laughs> So you were saying you're a man, you got needs? Well, maybe I should just face the fact that my father fell in love with his secretary. And your sister fell in love with her chauffeur. And my grandfather married his maid. No sense breaking tradition. None that I can see. Wait. Something is missing. What? What? Oh, I know. doing here? I'm picturing myself in Miss Babcock's BMW. <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Sheffield, um, if you got a minute, I could use your help. That's the understatement of the century. <laughs> Meanwhile, if we put an apple in his mouth, we can have a luau. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I just love this play. More torches here. Ah, Sarah, by my fay, it waxes late. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Who the hell is Faye and why is she waxing during a party? <laughs> Good luck. Shall I play Romeo to your Juliet? Four, three, two. What took you so long? <laughs> All right, so now we're star-crossed lovers. Uh, let's get some physical realism into this, shall we? Oh, Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> oh, uh, no, I mean, I'm going to put you on your balcony. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, Juliet is dreaming of her Romeo. Right. And she says... I'm me. <laughs> oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo. Romeo. <laughs> yes. No, uh, maybe we could have it a little more lilting, just a bit more melodic. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Melodic. <clears throat> oh, Romeo! Romeo! <laughs> Yeah, just a little too melodic, I think. Let me show you. Oh, okay, sure. He's going to show us. <clears throat> oh. oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Wow, you British guys really know how to play women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we did this play in college. 
Oh, you must have been the perfect Romeo. No, I was Friar Lawrence, actually. That's the problem, going to school with Jeremy Irons. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go on. Romeo, that's thy name, and take all of me. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. You know, if I were directing this, I'd go in a whole different direction. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Sleep dwell in thine eyes. Peace in thy breast. Ah, oh, would I were sleep and peace so sweet to rest. You know, because this lovey-dovey stuff has just been done to death. <laughs> you know? Much better. Yeah, I, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it now. <laughs> Sheffield, Mr. Sheffield, I told you, kids. Oh, Mr. Sheffield! Oh, look, you're wearing the new sofa and robe I got you for Christmas. What? What is it? I just, and he was, and I saw. Yes, darling, you're hysterical. Now, don't make me slap you. I just saw Mr. Sheffield naked. It was horrible. Mm, I keep telling him to get to the gym. <laughs> I'm serious. It's like seeing your father naked. My mother should be so lucky. <laughs> Would you like a cigarette, Miss Vine? Oh, he can't even stand to be seen without a tie. Oh, this is gonna put him right over the edge. You know, when I first started in service, I walked in on the Queen Mum. In the shower? On the throne. <laughs> strong enough to handle this. I don't care how many bulging muscles he's got. Well, just promise me one thing. What? Let me tell Miss Babcock. <laughs> oh, boy, do you have gorgeous tchotchkes. Uh, thank, thank your pardon. Uh, oh, you know, you bric-a-brac, dust collectors? Ah, the Rodin, yes. Well, he was, uh, he was well known for his bronze tchotchkes. <laughs> May I see your resume, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Crayon? Lipstick. Of course. And what a lovely shade. <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do, Miss Fine? Fire me? I'm going to get my passion back. Well, I'm right behind you, baby. The first thing I'm going to do is tell my brother, good show. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to ring my mother and tell her to sod off. <laughs> and the passion part would kick in exactly where? Right! Right now! <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go for it, Miss Fine. I'm gonna grab the brass ring. I'm gonna get back in touch and just do it! Go! Grab! Touch! Do! Did I mention touch? <laughs> hey, for God's sakes, I'm in Paris! With a beautiful woman. Uh. Come on. Let's blow this nightclub and see where life takes us. <laughs> Bill, I know that I'm not crazy. That king was coming on to me. Well, of course he was, Miss Fine. Of course he was. Anyone could see he was smitten with you. Wasn't he? Of course he was. He's a man. And unfortunately, some men are just not very good at expressing their feelings. <laughs> and I could see right through that, Sultan. Oh, yes, you'd start as his nanny, all right. You start working for him for a few years, and then uh, eventually be on a first-name basis, and then uh, one day he'd come to realize you were more important to him than his work. And then, ha, then he'd tell you he loves you. And uh, when does that happen? Right now. I love you. What? Fran, I love you. <laughs>